broadcast system. The CDC is advising that you stay in your home for a whole day. We shall walk. What's going on everybody? It's ya boy Carbon and today we are here to talk about some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare and if you guys are into anything Call of Duty news, please hit that like button hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button so you can stay up to date. So what is this video about today? Well, it's going to be about a new leak that was picked up by multiple different gaming informers about the progression system inside of Modern Warfare. And if you guys are interested in checking out my latest video about Call of Duty Modern Warfare Battle Royale and its latest links, I will go ahead and leave a link down below. It is rather interesting. I do recommend checking it out if you are a Battle Royale fan. But today we are talking about the progression system in Modern Warfare and how it compares to the different Call of Duty progression systems we've had throughout the years and how this one is going to make things even better. It's going to keep the game fresh. It's going to keep us working towards new things throughout seasons. Yes, I said seasons. And this leak is coming fresh from the gaming revolution and it was picked up by Charlie Intel who reportedly claims to have details on the new progression system that will be featured in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And if the leaks are correct, which I really hope they are, because this progression system is really going to make things more fun to play, it will be a dramatic shift in the franchise for how leveling is going to work compared to the Call of Duty games we've had in the past. Now, the leak claims that there is a set of base levels and seasonal levels players have the base levels which stay consistent throughout the lifespan of the game which is what we are currently used to we start at rank one and prestige one and we progress throughout the year that the game is out now there's going to be seasonal prestiges okay but it's not really prestiges it's just going to be seasonal rankings very similar to fortnite so each season we will have different unlocks and we will have to get to the very top of that unlock for the season in order to get everything before the next season starts so we are kind of on a time limit for each season which will make players play more often the new system will reportedly implement seasonal ranking for call of duty modern warfare where each season will bring new ranks and ranks will reset at the end of each season and once you reach the base level of 55 which is the highest base level each season will bring new temporary levels that will reset every season so when you start off in modern warfare you will see the standard levels of 55 and the temporary rank until the end of the current season and once the season ends the seasonal rank will reset but you will keep all of your new gear equipment customization and more that you've unlocked throughout the seasons now let's say you start playing call of duty towards the holiday season let's say some people get the game for christmas and that's when they start playing season one might be over by then and any unlocks that were in season one are no longer attainable so those very first unlocks are going to be very important because they will become the most rare items to have within the game anything that you first unlock in season one and the hardest unlocks of season one and in addition the leak claims that there may be up to 80 levels for each of the weapons in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So it's not going to be so easy to just pick up a gun, play for a couple days, and get that bitch maxed out. The Gaming Revolution states that the seasonal rank may have a max cap of level 160. So that means that there could be 160 levels per season to acquire. Now, if you're on a season, and let's say there's only two days left of the season, and you're at... Um, level 140 and you're trying to get to 160 and at the end of the six at the end of the season you don't make it to 160 you will not have another chance to get those items so you're going to want to play as often as possible and play to do well as often as possible and right now it could be between 55 and 160 in different seasons so we could see 55 levels in one season and we could see 160 levels in a different season they may not be consistent each season will have more and more to offer or less to offer activision and infinity ward have not officially announced the details on the ranking system in call of duty modern warfare and this information is not confirmed for now the studio has however referred to the post launch of call of duty modern warfare to feature seasons but has not elaborated on what they meant by seasons so for those of you out there who don't like to prestige 
that may not be an option for you anymore. You may want to get as high as you can to a ranking level as fast as possible because you are a time limit. A lot of people right now play up until rank 55 prestige one and they stay at rank 55 prestige one throughout the entirety of the game. And they may, re they may reach that max level in the first couple weeks due to the double XP. Well now, if you don't get that high rank in a certain amount of time, like let's say it's a month rather than a year, then you're not gonna get those unlocks. So this will give more reasons for people who stay at that first prestige to want to work for something, to make it stay fresh, to give you a reason to play, give you a reason to compete, give you a reason to grind, which is what we are known for in Call of Duty, grinders. But that passion and that community seems like it has been lost. Right now, Call of Duty Zombies might be the best grinding game inside of Call of Duty, but when it comes to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, everything is going to play together special ops the multiplayer the campaign all of the stories and everything coincide together so it doesn't matter what you play it will help you rank up for the season and one thing fans are also waiting confirmation on is not just what season means according to modern warfare but what exactly is going to be within the microtransaction system if there's going to be seasons what exactly are we going to be spending money on so as the launch of call of duty modern warfare gets closer and closer we are still waiting for the official information from the studio on how microtransactions and other in-game features will work for the title when it launches on October 25th. And Infinity Ward's art director posted on Reddit a post called A Developer's Point of View where he asked fans to wait for official information versus believing half-baked rumors from some people in regards to the supply drops and microtransaction system in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Late on October 7th, he responded in that to reply to a fan who was asked to clarify in regards to the microtransaction systems that he was talking about and fans have been saying that they don't want to see another black ops 4 style microtransaction system system in modern warfare we do not we do not want to see another one like that i had, didn't spend a single dollar on black ops 4 and i don't know why i ever would i also never got a single dlc weapon throughout the thousands of reserve crates that i've spent not a single one but it did not make me want to buy reserve crates in order to get the weapons in fact it made me want to play the game even less i was very unmotivated to play the games because i knew every update there was going to be new weapons that i wasn't going to get to play unless i I spent money that did not need to be there basically well hey give us some money roll the slot machines and you might get a chance to play that is not fucking fair but for now what they are saying as far as the microtransaction system in modern warfare is that they are focusing on making a different system in modern warfare and they also stated that the system is one with a direct path for content for players that's great we need that we need a direct path for content not just a gambling system they want to say thank you for the kind words about the efforts we put into the game, and I'm sorry for such a delayed response. What I can say is that we are focused on making a different system in Modern Warfare, one with a direct path to content players. That was the direct quote in the response, and it is still not exactly clear what types of microtransaction systems Modern Warfare will feature at this point. Having a system that's different from Black Ops 4 is interesting, especially something interesting to mention for black ops 4 which featured a variety of microtransaction systems including supply drops and in-game stores we do not need anything like that so basically at this point if they made a microtransaction system that was different from black ops 4 it would have to be better right because if it were worse than black ops 4 can you imagine it being worse than black ops 4 i, I can't you would have to go out of your way to actually make the microtransaction worse than it was in Black Ops 4, because Treyarch, I'm sorry, but you really fucked up this one. Right now, our mindsets in Call of Duty, based on past Call of Duty launches, is that we used to get excited for Call of Duties, right? Way back when we knew they were gonna be good. But in the last like four or five years or so, Call of Duties have been coming out, we pay for them, we pure order them, and then the game is just not to our expectations. We feel we are not getting our money's worth. But we buy the Call of Duty game anyway because it's the most recent one. And that's where it stands. Most people now, just buy the game, don't spend any money within the game because they have been taught that it's absolute crap. But what does that do for Modern Warfare once it releases? Are we still going to have that mindset that Call of Duty's microtransaction system is just going to be bad and people are going to not spend money? Or are they really going to flip the script 
and once you start playing you're gonna realize holy shit there are some things in here i actually want to pay for and you know are they gonna actually see a positive reaction from the community from these microtransactions i can only hope guys i hope you've enjoyed today's video about the progression system and how it may or may not work and about the microtransaction systems about how they may or may not work as well let me know your guys' thoughts on these down in the comments but until then until next video guys please leave a like please leave a subscribe hit that notification button so you can stay up to date on call of duty modern warfare news guys it's your boy carbon ha peace